On the outskirts of Regina, people gather at a cemetery where 36 indigenous children from the former Regina Indian Industrial School are believed to have been buried based on findings from a search three years ago. That forgiveness to me is very important because I'm a survivor. I learned to forgive the people who have done me wrong. At another Saskatchewan First Nation, Cowasis, a similar search starts next week at this communal graveyard. Some graves are marked, many are not. As children, most of the people buried here boarded at the Maryvale Residential School. Every residential gravesite in this country has these oral stories. Kamloops is just one. Like other First Nations, Kawasis will rely on ground-penetrating radar to help identify remains. We don't know what we're going to find. Ground radar sends radio waves into the earth through an antenna. The transmitted energy is reflected back from buried objects. The antenna receives reflected waves, which are amplified and displayed as different colors. It's not going to give you a black and white answer, but uh, it's going to pinpoint to the right direction most of the time. It's not an exact uh, survey. Confirming the gruesome truth about what's underground could mean excavating the earth and bringing remains to the surface for forensic examinations. Canada needs to prepare to not get triggered, but to focus on the end goal of true truth and reconciliation as we do these. He hopes, after identifying and recognizing all remains, his First Nation can install a monument telling the story of what happened there. Ross Lord, Global News.